And then my brother, my other brother, I got lots of brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, he decided to join MySpace, and he made welcome. You, he made you a, one of his top eight. He's basically oh, trying good. to get a lot of friends. You know what? I will uh, put him on my top. Even though I have, well, well, I can't put him on this month. I did switch. I have a completely African American top eight that I'm going into uh, Black History Month. Did with. the treats get to approve this? Um, I don't know. I've heard from a lot of brothers. They're a little upset because some of them are fake, and one of them is a cartoon character. Because <laughs> that's all I can find. Put one of the guys wait. from the boondocks on there? Yeah, I have... Um, oh, wait. Okay, I got you. You got... Uh, this is Anthony's top eight on MySpace. I got some gangbanger up there is the first guy. Yeah, you got a guy called Buffalo Soldier. Yeah. He's a gangbanger with a pink wig. Yeah, and he's got like a gun or something. I don't know is what's going AK? on. Is that an AK? Yeah, I think so. And then you got some girl named Jackie. Jackie. Jackie was a pretty attractive uh, African woman, so uh, I popped her up on there. Is she a, a listener to the show? Yeah. Very good. Then, uh, well, Mr. T. He's got Mr. Um, T. <laughs> I don't think it's really Mr. T, uh, but uh, he's black, so I put him up there. All right. And then uh, next is, uh, who's that? Mike Tyson, but... It's, but you don't say Mike Tyson. You say rapist from Brooklyn. Yeah, his his name is rapist <laughs> from Brooklyn, and he's oh, he's a picture. listener of the show, and he uses Mike Tyson's uh, pick picture, and, and his I name gotcha. is rapist from Brooklyn. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, and, and then you got Ray, who is I guess that's uh, Barry White's picture. Barry White's picture. Yeah. Then you got Blanket, who uses Dave Chappelle's picture. Yeah. Then you got Julian. Who's that? I don't know. I was really searching. Dude, I have 11,000 friends on MySpace, and it was a chore to find eight black people. <laughs> Just like the neighborhood you live in. <laughs> Fucking despicable, man. It is the same demographic breakdown as my neighborhood. <laughs> oh, Ray is Ray the intern? Okay. And then Purnell, who uses uh, the black dude from Family Guy. Yeah. What's his name in Family Guy? What? Cleveland. Oh, yeah, Cleveland. Cleveland. He was uh, a picture. cartoon character. Yeah. Black guy. And that's pretty much so you can't- um, all I could do. And all of my comments that came in is like, hey, Anthony, love the Schwoogie Top 8. Uh, when am I going to make it in? Um, I can't wait till Black History Month is over so I could be in your Top 8. A lot of people are very unappreciative. Uh, it's the amazing. fact that I'm supporting. Jesus, one fucking month. Can you have a fucking bunch of black people? One, one month. month. That's all I'm trying the to do. The rest of the 11 is it's, it's all white white hour, and it's like fucking like just one month. Just put a I'm couple of black people. Trying to show a little support. Yeah. Okay, there's a little contradiction there because my favorite music artist, I only have one, and it's uh, Prussian Blue. Prussian Blue. <laughs> Those two a Adorable little girls that sing racist uh, white supremacist songs. The Nazi girls. The Nazi girls. You ever uh, see them? Never heard of them. Prussian blue. They are the cutest thing this side of a puggle. They are adorable. And they wear little shirts with smiley faces, but the smiley face has a little Hitler mustache. How cute is that? <laughs> and they sing songs uh, about uh, keeping the white race strong and uh, how they don't want how blacks in the they? neighborhood. They're like uh, 12 years oh. old. Oh, precious. They are cute as bugs' ears, if what I can use that. Like? Uh, I think they're called preteens. They're little blondes. They they look like little or Olsen tweens. twin kind tweens, of. Right. They're tweens, Opie. I'm sorry, tweens. Tweens. Ugh. Just the cutest little things. Hope they get pregnant. <laughs> my fucking, <laughs> they get pregnant by black, black Jews. <laughs> black Jews. Black Jews. <laughs> <laughs> fucking little assholes. <laughs> so, uh, my brother proving that MySpace is a great thing for people that don't have friends in real life has started his own uh, MySpace account. You on MySpace? Fuck no, I hate MySpace. People keep asking. I have real friends. A few, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Real friends. I don't want to do. You should have heard the friends. conversation I we had on the phone last night. Thousand friends. Yeah, uh, Patrice it was and just I. Horrendous. Patrice and really? I decided oh. to take our little thing to the next level. You were see, trying to make friends. Let's see if there's a friendship. Thing don't happening. ever call me again. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> we are radio friends. Wait a minute. It you made started me sick. You started by uh, leaving a, a very awkward message that I still have on my phone, <laughs> inviting me to the Nick game. Yeah, and no, I didn't leave it. I I texted because this cocksucker doesn't call you. 
you back. So, and then when he calls, you can tell it's a time where you should be very excited that he called. Like, yeah. It, like, it should be a drum roll right before the call. Like, <laughs> 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 it's OP calling you. You better pick up motherfucking right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're talking. I invited him to the basketball game. We had an extra ticket f- front row. I know OP likes fucking I love sports. Basketball. Yeah. basketball. So it was like, you know, t- text message, nothing. So he, he does an excuse that I do, which I respect. No, it's not an excuse. I swear to God, dude, I would no, well, not an excuse, but like I a, know you're having fun for the radio. Like I would have went to the Nick. No! Dude, I would have went to the Nick game, no problem. I would have not answer his text. Dang, that's, what I'm, that's the context. All his emotion, the context is. N- I didn't get back to you. Not time. even a fucking uh, fuck snow, nothing. Just no. Yeah, that's where I'm Can't wrong. go. But there was no excuse. Did I you had, get the text and, uh, and go, ah, eh, click? I had a little birthday party on Long Island for a six-year-old I had to go to. My niece. That doesn't Jamie's leave, that, birthday. That would leave you more time to text than being at any other event. <laughs> I know. And that, wait, here's the thing. That I do the same shitty shit to people. Everyone does. My message on my outgoing message is... Listen, dude. Your leave, message. Good stinks. luck. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> leave a message and cross your fingers, because I know I'm a hunk of shit. That's right, no so, big deal. So you gotta taste yeah. your own medicine. So maybe exactly. we. So maybe we could be friends. As I look at a at a five one six number one five one six. Oh, what the fuck is you know we fuck, had fuck you want. We had small tree. <laughs> we had small talk on the phone last night. I think it went okay. For, for as, it was very awkward. That's small talk. Because we decided yeah. to take it to the next level. You know, we're all getting along with Patrice. So now, like, he invited me to the Nick game. I called him back last night. A little small talk. Yeah. I think there's a potential friendship that's forming. <laughs> Did you have any mutual <laughs> was, interests that you no, talked about? Good. You can feel when it was... When it, you know, how you feel when it just, just dried out, like you know, like with the spaghetti strainer, that last bit of water <laughs> that you <laughs> drain off the spaghetti, you can feel that conversation was just draining off the Nothing spaghetti, left. and it just was like so. So then, hey man, I'm going to watch uh, Flavor. I'm like, uh, not yeah. watching it. Just uh, oh, oh no, it didn't hit that wall. And, and, then it was, and then there was the awkward hang up. It was just. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was a good start, though. Yeah, well, take it easy, man. It was man. a good try. It was a good try. No, it's not even a try. I, I would like to be your friend, actually. <laughs> I have a similar story. Bob Kelly tried to become my friend because he started doing the radio show. And I was at Starbucks with him and Jim Norton one day, and he's doing all that small talk bullshit. Oh. You know, just babbling about nothing. I actually looked at him. He'll tell you. And I go, Bob, I got to tell you, man. I don't think you and I will ever become friends. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen. I'm not, I'm not feeling I'm like, it. <laughs> instead of let's instead of like uh, feeling our way through this and making believe, I just want to tell you right off the bat, <laughs> I don't think you can become friends. <laughs> ain't working. Norton's eyes were like fucking huge. You gotta love a motherfucker like that. Uh, I was like, lay it out. Let's there. stop don't trying. Even try. Let's it's, stop trying. It ain't happening. That's so genius. I don't hate the guy or anything, but I'm like, you know, Bob, I, I, I'm not feeling honest. And no one's wasting time. Now you're not wasting time. E Rock just tried to have a low drop. Hey, oh. hey Obi, um, how, how's your brother's restaurant? Obi's like, what? He said, and he said, what? Yeah, what? It's Ten minutes later, what? <laughs> <laughs> you can see the look on his face like he's been trying ever since he's been on the show and it just ain't happening. He's like, goes home and goes, I, I'm going to find something else in my life because I'm tired of being just this Mr. Computer Boy and go get the CD. I just want to say hi yeah. to Gregory. Maybe it'll build hi, up Anthony. into something. <laughs> he was feeling good, you know. He's like, wait, you know what? I think he's open for a little conversation today. <laughs> no, nope, And when it's so forced, you try to find something to, like, get into. You just go, wait, what's a good one? Oh, oh wait, well, his the restaurant's very restaurant. important That'd to him cool. right now. Sure. Yeah. I, bring <laughs> I bring nothing to the table. I bring nothing to the table. Oh. We didn't have a bad conversation. It was like, there was our very first outside of this radio I liked it, kind of conversation. I actually liked it. Fine. I was actually going to uh, call you up because I wanted to go down to the cellar this weekend, but then I had to get out to Long Island and check out the restaurant and stuff. But the Nick game was cool, huh? Yeah. Fucking. Dude, I've never sat on the court. I genius. Oh. Un-fucking believe. It was like, even though it doesn't even matter if you're a fan or not, if you sit on the floor. Yeah. It's just to watch seven foot tall, like, Superhuman people <laughs> run around and just the 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 intricacies of fucking basketball. You don't realize how tall those yeah. guys really are until dude, you sit really close. The because small on TV, dudes are tall. Yeah, because on TV they all look you know relatively the same height, so you don't really get an appreciation for how ridiculously tall these guys are. Like he just said, even the small guy would dwarf you. Yeah, Jamal Crawford six six. He looks and he's the small guy. He's a small guy. It's like what did you just? And they're just and they're all. Tatted up, they had a white boy in, uh, on New Orleans, big white boy Anderson, 
who actually watched Web Junk 20. He and he's oh. real ghetto, long hair for for the Hornets. He's like, what? Hold up. Oh, you doing that web shit, right? I'm like, okay. <laughs> and he shit. had all the, you know, in God we trust tattoos and the prayer hands and the fucking yeah, on, basketball on his face. players it's, are all into tats, man. It's just their tat. It's just I was, I was like, it's just white supremacists and it's devil worshippers and gang members all over the fucking <laughs> yeah. place making millions of fucking dollars, man, and just. It, and they'll talk to you on the court. You just go, hey, how's the family? Good, man, good. And just, all right, really? don't do a play. It, it's so, so weird. Sitting on the floor is, like, amazing, that is, man. That you, is really strange because no other sport does that where you're so close. You're right there, you know? I'm going to invite you next time, dude. I'll, next time we get tickets, I'm going to call you again. I'm going to invite you. No, you'll you. see. I'll, I'll drop everything. Because you'll love that I shit. I couldn't drop the old uh, six-year-old birthday party. They don't. Why? They don't understand that shit. Cause I, I got you seem like a guy that wouldn't go to. Six year old ain't even gonna know. See, that's where it's confusion, confusing. I got, I got some things I know I can't blow off. Kids don't understand that shit. Six year old, we got a, we got a very close it. family. You buy him something, huh? You buy him something. I, I bought her a gift card. She just threw it like behind the couch. <laughs> <laughs> a gift card for a six year old. Toys R Us. It's all about the gift cards, don't you know? You'll enjoy it, man. Don't yeah, you know? for adults, kids are easy. You get them a toy. Oh, so bring this back. So my brother has a MySpace account. That's where this started with the yeah. thing. And uh, so he um, he emailed me his whole, th what is it, a profile, whatever. these. Th yeah, these are the profiles. Now, a lot of people don't fill these, these out, the right. profiles. He you kind of, in the About You section, you write down some pertinent information. Mine has, I'm Anthony from the Opie and Anthony Show. My brother's life is so easy. He designs T-shirts for the Opie and Anthony Show. Which you could get on our website. He does Sudoku. He plays PlayStation Sudoku. 2 games that are like four years old. <laughs> he has a stack of PlayStation 2 games. Old that, ones? I'm like, what? Hmm. Do you realize what's out there now? He has Sudoku uh, books all over his apartment. And then he, he uh, emails me his profile for MySpace. I think he's the first person to answer every single question they ask you. Yeah. People rarely do these, and then to fill out every single answer, wow. And I know my brother uh, is a little bizarre, but man, I mean, he's letting us into his life a little too much with this profile. By the way, if you want to become my brother's friend because he's begging for friends, I guess it's Brother Elmo on MySpace. Oh, there you go. MySpace slash Brother Elmo. Brother Elmo. You want to read some of these answers? All right. They ask right-handed or left-handed. His answer, I give nuns the finger with my left hand, and I fondle homeless bag ladies with my right. So I guess that makes me <laughs> ambidextrous. <laughs> ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> Your weakness, drunk pet shop owners. Drunk pet shop owners. He's obviously had some uh, experiences some, with them. He's obviously banged some pet shop owner was, that was drunk. Your fears. Those freaking flying monkeys in Wizard of Oz. Oh, and I think my Dunkin' Donuts uh, guy made a copy of my house key. Could be a fear. Okay. He might be coming in this week. We'll have to ask him about that. Uh, what else here? Your perfect pizza. Extra sauce served on the stomach of a nubile nymph while her 88-year-old grandmother watches another exciting episode of Wheel of Fortune only 10 feet away. Did he uh, give thought to this? Jesus, and man goal you would like to achieve this year does not anally raping my neighbor's paperboy count as a goal <laughs> does, <laughs> what does that that is out there well look at the next one your most overused phrase on an instant messenger everyone has done the old lol right or yeah or rofl well his favorite one of those is G S J D O O Y M G S F Y S A K Y N F, a very popular one that a lot of people like to use. I'm surprised that he uh. he went with that one, Anthony. You want to tell everyone what it means? Uh, go suck Jack Daniels out of your mommy's gaping snatch. Fuck your sister and kill the neighbor's ferret. <laughs> <laughs> This is scaring me. Thoughts first waking up. Oh, crap. Jessica Alba isn't really here. It was only a dream. Oh, and where did this huge blood stain come from? This is my brother. Your bedtime. When my seven-year-old neighbor shuts off his light, that'll change, change once my night vision goggles come in. They're on back order. Two. Okay. Look. 
This is three pages long, That's right? what I'm telling you. This three guy needs pages a pages long. He needs to get out of his fucking house. Within the first half of the first page, there's two Head jokes. <laughs> Head jokes, and there's a lot of hooker jokes in here, too. Yeah. But I don't know if they're jokes. That's what I'm getting at Uh-oh. Here. Lipton iced tea or Nest tea? I'd rather drink a tepid bowl of emu throw-up with a wedge of lemon, of course. It's the only way it's served. Do you shower daily? Yes. There's an abandoned YMC up the road. YMCA up the road. Uh, this street urchin, Chet Fresh, provides me with the necessary toiletries and insightful conversation. <laughs> Have you been in love? Ugh. I guess a girl who wrote these questions. A better question would be, have you ever buried the dismembered body of a hooker near the Jersey Turnpike? <laughs> Do you want to go to college? Not again. I have a recurring dream that they discover all of my college tests were taken with a number three pencil, not a number two, and I have to go start all over again. At least when I'm crying, Jessica Alba is there to comfort me. It just goes on and on. Is there any yeah. other ones worth reading? Good. Um, Do you believe in yourself? Absolutely. But the children of the world don't. My legend of a jolly, gift-stealing, baboon-riding Elmo man who appears in children's bedrooms in the dead of night has yet to take root in our ever-cynical society. Do you get motion sickness? If the hoodoo girl flies past the table too fast, I've been known to swoon. In the past month, have you gone on a date? Does prison rape count? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in the past month, have you been on, and then he f finishes it with saying, been on top of a mound of dirt with a woman of questionable moral fiber two feet below? Another buried dead girl yeah. joke. In the past month, have you eaten sushi? My own special recipe, I find a sea robin that's been languishing on the beach in the hot midsummer sun for a good two weeks or so. Add a little oil and saute it over rice before I give it to the hooker. It's funny because, come on, who wants that as a last meal? A lot of hooker jokes from my brother. That just goes on and on. Yeah, obviously. visit visit his site, become his friend. See what he's all about. Brother Elmo. Wow. Good old Brother Elmo on MySpace. I think the show has an, has an effect on uh, the family members. You think so? They're losing their minds out there. Someone is saying uh, Jimmy's much worse. Is Jimmy's a lot worse than that? Uh, but it's to, Jimmy. Let's go to Kevin on Long Island. Kevin. Hey, what's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, yeah, I just want to say, well, it looks like he's been uh, reading Norton's page too much, because Norton filled out one of the surveys, and he's got some great <laughs> answers, but Brother Elmo was taking a stab at it and uh, just didn't succeed. Well, I'm, I'm not saying it's like uh, brilliant. It's it's a little twisted and disturbing when you when it's your brother. Right, but uh, I don't think he's serious. I don't think he's serious. Oh, you don't know my brother. <laughs> All right, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, okay, I guess. All right. <laughs>